welcome. Because <laughs> it's 9 p.m. It's 8.47, don't lie. And that you. <laughs> should it, should, do you want to open it? No, I thought. Do you want to do this with me tonight? <laughs> we were going to go get Dairy Queen. <laughs> you guys are going to leave youth early for Dairy no, Queen? No, we were going to go and bring it back to you guys. Robin, can you confirm? What? Were you guys going to go to Dairy Queen to bring it back to us, or were you just going to go to Dairy Queen for yourself? No, we were actually going to be really good friends and bring you Dairy Queen. Whatever you want. I have a gift card. <laughs> you guys are, dude, welcome. Welcome. How you guys doing? Welcome. Wait, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Do you want to teach Bye. us how to do something in origami? Come back. Come back. Come back. On camera? Ooh, an origami show on ETC Network? Come back. Come back. Come back. Ooh. Tell the viewers That's at beautiful. home your name. That's beautiful. What do you have in your hand? Uh, origami ball. Okay, my question is, did you use different types of paper to do that, or is that just one sheet? It's, it's one sheet of paper. Just one side has a pattern on it. The other side is just yellow. Ooh. Wait, do you have any sheets of paper on I'm you? I'm shook. Okay, I'm going to stand up for this. <gasps> wow. Okay, and you turn that into that? You just How it's made? I tear it this way, and then you tear it in half again. So I get like a three-inch by three-inch piece of paper. And then I fold it into this piece <gasps> 30 times. And the points go in the pockets and they hold together. Creativity, people. <laughs> this is where it's at. <laughs> I don't That's know beautiful. Wow. I'm so impressed. It's just paper. Yeah, but the Every fact that your fingers put all that together. It's just paper. How long have you been doing origami for? Three and a half years. Specific. That's a skill. I like it. Can you, you teach Courtney first? how to do a simplest origami thing with this piece of paper? No. Right now, yeah. Oh, do it. Okay. Pick up. Okay. Oh. And then butterfly. It's beautiful. <laughs> And I made it. Dude, Elijah, why don't you take a seat on the couch, bro? You're on Downstairs Youth right now. Anything you want to say to the camera? Oh, sure. Hold on, Elijah. Go for it. Uh, subscribe to Cheese Sticks, my YouTube channel. How do you spell Cheese Sticks? Uh, it's with a Z. It's with a Z. C H E E Z E. Sticks? Any? Is there underscore any numbers? Dude, the fact that you have cheese sticks, that's pretty special, man. I like cheese sticks. Love God, love people, and uh, good night. Amen. Agreed. <laughs> Eli, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I really love this, like, pose that we kind of got going on I right know, now. I like it. Where, um, did you come from, like, basketball practice? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. Uh, dude, I just guess. <laughs> oh, they're asking for my ice cream order. Oreo. <laughs> With <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> Cornet, Cornet will get it. Just send Oreo. Um, do you feel like you learned any new skills? I don't know, not really. Do you feel like you improved on old skills? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Who's your basketball coach? His name's Coach Brummett. 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 I played for varsity a little bit today because I'm going to na nationals with them. <laughs> going to nationals with them. In Missouri. In Missouri. Does the school pay for that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. So you're going to play basketball in Missouri. M Missouri or Missouri? Missouri. Missouri. And then, um, okay, what position do you play? Uh, like four or five. Wait, I'm, I'm I play so... play big boy in the bottom that gets the rebounds and a tries to dunk it. Wait, so there's a position named a number? One, two, three, four, and five. Brian, are you kidding me? Number one is point guard, two is shooting guard, three is small forward, four is power forward, five is center. What? I did not know this. I'm hungry. Same. Actually, I'm not. I'm actually stuffed. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Cool. Yep. 
I feel like people are just coming out to the couch. Reese, how's it going, man? It's going great. Why the big smile? Why the big grin? Because I'm saved. Because <laughs> God's nice and great. I can Landon, how are you? Come I, here. Oh, I, I raced today. Reese, interview Landon. Hello, <laughs> Hello sir. <laughs> I hope this isn't okay. live. What Cerise we, tells me that there's someone special there's for him. Special? Yeah. So who's I'm that girl not from to, Cabo Chapel? I'm trying not to focus on that right now. <laughs> so who is that? <laughs> you somebody. keep telling me about her, and you even somebody. posted about it on your Instagram. So who somebody. is she? Somebody. Ooh. <laughs> Why do you have to make it awkward for me, Arabella? Ooh. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> this is so awkward. Is this what you wanted, Brian? That's what I wanted. Is this just what you wanted? Just a minute, Just a minute. To make me suffer? I raced today. Landon won. I was second. Yeah. Race what? Speed. <laughs> 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 we ran. No, but like, how? <coughs> no, how, how, what, how did you race? With my feet. Yeah, I ran. Where did you? Very fast. Where was the race at? Right over there. Outside. Yeah, I was second. Landon, Landon won because he's fast. <laughs> He's very was there <laughs> was there anybody else racing or was it just you two? Gregory and someone else. It's pretty pretty fast. I'm pretty fast. Not as fast as Landon though, because he's pretty fast. Have you ever seen cars? Have I seen cars? Yeah. Kachow? Kachow, babe. Why did I say babe? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I did not expect to go to that door. Well, we got roller dudes. Oh my gosh, dude, there's too many wheels in this room. This isn't helping him at all. Why? Why what? Why? Because there's a clothespin on my hat? Why? Because <laughs> Evangeline put it on my hat? Thank you for the clothespin. Well, well Nito, um, anything else you want to say to the viewers at home? Read your Bibles, kids. Yeah? And be smart. Can we just take a pause? There's like seven people wearing rollerblades in this place right now. It's a thing. It's coming back. Dude, Roller City closed down at the wrong time. <laughs> I miss Roller City. That, that place was my childhood. If they could have hung in for like two more years. If you like roller skating, comment down below that you like to roller skate. Or blade. Yeah, comment, comment down below, I like roller skating. Okay, wait. Say yes or no, and then say you roller skate or you roller blade. Big difference. Yeah, pretty big difference. Pretty big difference. Do you want me to leave now? Um, you can leave if you want to. Yeah, I'd probably say yeah. You can go now. Mav. <laughs> Mav, this is your first interview. How do you feel? Uh-huh. Mav, what's your thoughts on the weather today? I was in the same boat, dude. I woke up this morning. It was way too cold. Oh, we're getting something. Nope. Oh, we're grabbing it. Okay. We're touching it. Mavern, what do you think this is? Mavern, what are we on right now? <laughs> what kind of shirt do you have on? You have an ACDC shirt on. Do you know who ACDC is? Can you hold this? Can you hold it? Mom came in for support. He's made for television. Look at this. <laughs> He's a natural. <laughs> this, like that, right there. Oh, he's done. <laughs> Maverick, anything you want to say to the people at home? Dude, he is just starstruck right now. <laughs> that was funny. I, I So, I heard that you do dance. Yeah, so do you. Yes, I no. do. No. Jared. Jared. Hi, Jared. This guy's name is Jared. Hi, Jared. Uh, yeah. Everyone say hi to Jared. Hi, Jared. Uh. Oh, my. Would you like to say something, Jared? Um. So, so, how oh, many dance classes do you do? 
I take uh, five days a week. Nice. And four hours each day. I do 10 hours a week for I dance. I can do the splits. <laughs> oh, I can do that. Okay, do the splits. <laughs> Oh! Well, that was very interesting and very cool. So, what is your favorite type of dance? Uh, lyrical. Lyrical? Nice. <sighs> My head hurts. Yeah, it does hurt when you do that for I a while. I did that, like, for an hour today. Wow. Interesting. You have an idea? I have an idea. What's your idea? We Why should see. They have an idea, apparently. Wait, I can unclip? Unclip from your hat. With one hand? Yes. Okay, wait. Without dropping them. Okay, hold on. Okay, wait, so we're putting these on my hat. Yeah. You have to use <laughs> one hand, and you have to see how many you can get without dropping them. And I can't, like, I have to hold on to them as I take them one out, hand. right? One yes. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. I don't think you can get Come all on. Oh, I can get all these. Okay, yeah, so... We'll leave that right there. One hand. My, okay. You can't drop Oh, I see how this is difficult. Oh, I can't. I can't use my leg, right? Okay. Bye, Adam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I just received this. Okay. It's incoming comic. Hi, Dawson. I just received this. Um, it's a comic. I don't know. Can you zoom in on this? Is this possible? We're going for left page here, or right page, according to you. Yes, I believe it's right. You see it? Is, am I holding it steady enough? So it says. I feel like this is like story time with children. No think, just do. Ooh. And it is a spider. Falling down from the ceiling. This person notices the spider. The spider then begins to fall, it looks like. The person begins to grab it. They look at it, and then they crunch and munch and crunch it. How does it make you feel, Dawson? It makes me feel hungry, actually, in a really weird way. Didn't you have Chipotle earlier? I did have Chipotle earlier. Are you still hungry, though? Not really, no. So, like I said, it made me hungry in a really weird way. There you go. Yeah. Would you ever eat a spider? You know... For fun. For fun? I believe I have eaten a spider before. Definitely not for fun. <laughs> not on purpose. So I, I, I don't know. I don't think I'd eat the spider for fun. D what if it was like a tasty spider? Define tasty. Like someone told you it tastes like applesauce. Ma maybe. Maybe. I mean, applesauce isn't my favorite flavor, but it, maybe. Is there a dollar value that you would assign to eating a spider? Probably 50 bucks to eat a spider. So anything below 50. How about 49? Sure, why not? 48? It's, it's close enough. No. 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 <laughs> it's $2. You want to do it for two less dollars? No. See, this is a good conversation about boundaries. <laughs> Dawson, what did you learn tonight? Well, I did learn just how, how Jesus used those four spiritual gifts that we talked about. The words of knowledge, yes. words of wisdom leadership and teaching and just and it impacted me in such a way like I never thought of the story that way before of how he demonstrated those spiritual gifts mm -hmm. or even that the was fact to me too. that like what Adam talked about how Jesus is fully God fully man mm -hmm. but it was so significant that he was able to use the spiritual yeah. gifts because he was fully man there you go. I think that's probably what stuck out to me the most. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you. I've never heard the story of the woman caught in Dill Street and as a way to explain the spiritual gifts, and I thought that was a really interesting way to do yeah. that. And so, yeah, dude, super rad. Super rad. Anything else you want to say to the ETC Nation? Um, or network, whatever we're calling this thing? I love you guys. There you go. I may not know all of you by name, but, but he God loves you. knows you, there and you God go. loves you, and there Golden you go. loves you. I, mm. Yeah. You want to be on ETC? Do you want to be on ETC? Hello. Gregory, if you could say one thing to the 150 people who watch ETC every week, what would you say to them? Thursdays, 
Sorry if I offend anybody, but they're way better than Sundays. Dang. Is that just a like statement, just in general? All Thursdays are better than Sundays? All Thursdays, because you get to hang out with your friends longer. Uh, you have uh, longer service. You have more. In- it's more interactive than a Sunday. There you go. Thursdays yeah. are better than Sundays. Camille. Sup. Sup. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Camille, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Why do you feel great? Because I feel great. The, the Lord is just giving me joy, man. I feel great. <laughs> That's great. Why, but why, why so much joy? Because the Lord is good and God is good. And I'm happy to know that. Amen to that. Good. That's amazing. Okay. Besides the Lord being good, what's one good thing that has happened recently? I think it's just the happiness of being able to connect with others in this church here. Um, mm. I'm just happy to have people who can be genuine and honest and just so sweet, you know. And small groups are great. They're great. They're great. I recommend them 100%. They're good. They're great. <laughs> Wait, can great. you say that one more time? Look directly into the camera and say small groups are like, what, just describe how much you love small groups. Right into the camera. Pretend like you're talking to somebody else. Serious. As you can be. Small groups are so worth it. You you get to connect with people. You get you you get to talk about your feelings to people. It's it's the best experience ever. One hundred percent recommend it. Best way to connect with people here. Small groups. <laughs> that is that was amazing, 100% Camille. True. Absolutely lovely. Thank you so That's much. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Camille. Anything else you want to say to the people at home? Um. God bless your hearts. <laughs> there you go. God bless your hearts. Thank you, Camille. Yeah. Caleb, no. <laughs> no. I looked at Caleb and he just like. Okay. <laughs> Colton, what's something that stood out to you tonight with the message or just small groups or whatever? Like, you know. That's a great thinking noise. No, I mean, like, I know it's pretty simple and I know we say it all the time, but again, there's like that verse at the end of like the, when they're talking about the spiritual gifts and how like um, basically like none of these things matter unless you have love. I'm loosely right. paraphrasing that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not quoting a Bible verse, but what I am saying is that the spiritual gifts mean nothing if we don't have love behind them. And so we can do right. all these amazing works. We can pray for you, have wisdom, have knowledge, discernment, teaching, all this kind of stuff. But if we don't do any of that without Hi, love, Landon. Um, then we're just a, <laughs> like, I mean, the Bible says we're like a clanging cymbal gong thing. Right. And uh, I can't take this seriously. Um <laughs> Uh, spiritual gifts mean nothing if they aren't done in love. And so us as Christians, like our first and number one commandment is to love others and love them well. So if our teaching um, isn't done in love, but it's done in hate or is done right. in a spot of like bitterness, um, then it's not really going to build up the church at all. And so um, that was the last kind of point that Adam ended on. I think, yeah. I mean, like I've heard it a thousand times, but I think it's something that's been speaking to you a lot this week. So yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. There you go. Ha- have a seat. I don't know. What do you want to talk about? This is um, ETC. Oh. Hi, ETC Network. Oh, that's right. We're a network We're now. We're a network totally now. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Hi, guys. Lots of, there's a umbrella now. Yeah. I, I like your green flannel. Thank you. I like your green so, pants. Thank you. Is there something we're supposed to be talking about? I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. There was a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of like background kind of going on. Do you have any commentary on, you know, the background? Uh, from what I can tell. I, that's your brother right there. Like yeah, in the I, of the I think line. he's kind of the ringleader. I think Ransom's really stirring Probably, up a lot yeah. of the... Yeah. He yeah. tends to do that. Um, you want to talk about Lego the Hobbit? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I definitely do. <laughs> so what did you think about the 2013 Lego sets that got released? Um, I only had one. Okay. I had the Hobbit hole. Okay. But I can give you an entire... I don't know much about the Lego sets specifically, okay. but I can give you an entire conversation on the actual book and movie. Okay. Or we can give the mic back to Colton and actually talk about something that is productive and useful. Hi, welcome to the Eli Podcast. Today we have um, special guest Elisha. Now, we usually don't have special guests on the show, but because I'm he is danger. a show, um, <laughs> we're not even come on the show. But it's me today Wait, with you, Elijah. Of and, course. And, um, the other Elijah, yeah. Elijah Daniels, and uh, we're we're streaming here in the um, the youth the youth lobby. Yes, what a, what a great place to stream. 
by the way. Thank you, uh, Col uh, Colt. Thank you. Thank you for the streaming area. Yeah, thank you. And um, so we're just wondering, um, what are your thoughts on the the youth the youth environment in this situation? Who asked me? He already has the mic. Oh, you're asking Eli? Yeah, uh, Eli. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, my bad. Eli. Yeah. It's kind of hot, not going to lie. Do you have any questions for the, the Eli's, those who are non-Eli, if they really don't understand the Eli situation here? No. Okay, thank you for the input, Eli. Hi, I'm Maddox. And uh, I'm Clarissa. And you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> we, need a, we need a subject to talk about. Talk about me, movie. What's your favorite part about B movie? Oh, bro, when, when they're when they're driving, the when he slams into the window. Oh. It's not like I was talking or anything. <laughs> they are when they're in the car at the beginning and then they go in a oh, little. Oh, no, that's funny. I love the grandma. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Oh, okay. Oh, Dairy um, Queen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dairy Queen. Not sponsored. <laughs> Ew, okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel. Um, oh yeah. Please like and subscribe. Dawson is on the floor. You can have the money. And that's all for today's episode of Youth Downstairs. Downstairs, you. <laughs> Brian, I really hope you edit this well. Thanks for joining us today. Downstairs at Youth. Downstairs, downstairs youth. youth. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see your face on the network soon. Or upstairs. For upstairs, youth. Yeah. What do you call a cow with one leg? Steak. 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 What about what do you if you're call, vegan? What do you call a cow with two legs? Lean beef. What do you call a cow with three legs? Tri-tip. What do you call a cow with four legs? A cow. Oh. What do you call a cow with no legs? A Paralympic cow. Ground beef. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's all my cow jokes. <laughs>